All right, I'm going to go over how to set up your blog page and um, different posts. So um, it's pretty simple. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to our panel, our dashboard, and add a new page. And you can call the page whatever you want, but I'm going to go ahead and name uh, mine blog. Let's publish this. And then the next step is going under settings, reading. And by default, you might have under your everything is your latest post. Uh, we moved it to a static page. And then from there, you'll want to select post page as your blog. This is the same area as you set your home page under front page. So make sure that you pick the page that you, um, you know, have set. Then we'll save these changes. And then let's go ahead and go back to our blog page. Let's view that. And now you'll notice that it's a now blog and you'll have your posts appear right here. If you wanted any content at the very top, like in the live preview, you can type content goes here. Let's update that. Just gives you a little like sub headline area right here. Very simple. Um, all right, let's just dive right into posts. Let's make a, I'm going to show you how to use the, uh, the featured image feature, which just automatically crops the like a featured photo for you. You don't have to use it, you can just leave that out. Um, but here's how we do it. Sample photo post. Um, I'll show you a couple things. First, let's upload a photo. We just upload and then we're going to want to select a photo. And then you'll set your photo to a featured image right here. Use this featured image. And then you can add categories or tags um, right here, you just type them in. Very simple. Let's go, we're just going to go ahead and leave ours default since it doesn't make a difference right now. So let's refresh our blog and now we should have our new post. And this is the featured image. It's automatically cropped for you. As I mentioned before, you don't need to use this um, if, you, uh, if you don't want to. All right. So the next thing I want to go over is um, how to get that view more button. So if we have a bunch of content right here, all you need to do is uh, hover over this button right here. It says insert more. And if you choose that, you get this more line. And then we can actually add more content below. And everything above the more will display on the index. And then everything else will display on the post page. And then that more will make that button that we've seen on the live preview. So we can refresh now. And we will get our read more button will show up. And then the rest of the content's cut off. If we go to the post page, um, all the content displays. So as, as I said before, that's the insert more button. Very easy. So let's say we want to actually, instead of having a featured image, let's remove our featured image right here. I just clicked remove on the bottom right, but use a video. All you need to do is, um, you know, use one of your um, videos right here. Let's go to Vimeo. We have some embed code. Uh, make sure you customize this because we don't want the uh, text below the video. We just want the iframe embed code. So iframe to iframe. Then we paste it in. Once again, you don't have to worry about um, the uh, width and the height. It's automatically resized for you. Let's refresh this. And now instead of the image, we have our featured video, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, another thing to note about your blog is if you want to get rid of that sidebar, you can just go into your theme options, appearance theme options, and under the basic tab, there's a show sidebar on the blog. You can click no. You can resave that and it will automatically fill up your screen or the uh, window full width. So that's the blog.